wasn't getting adequate amounts of protein, wasn't getting vitamins and minerals, and she lost mostly fluid on this diet and not really the body fat that she was attempting to lose. Well, how do I know this? Again, my name is Roberta Anding. I'm a clinical and registered dietitian. I work at Texas Children's Hospital in Houston as the director of sports nutrition. I'm the director of sports nutrition at Memorial Hermann Hospital in Houston. I teach a course in nutrition at Rice University, and I'm the dietitian for the Houston Texans. I've been a dietitian for 30 years, and again, my job with this course is to take you on this journey to wellness. We're going to start out this journey by looking at trends and seeing what Americans are actually interested in. Well, trends suggest that we're interested in nutrition, we're interested in eating right, and we're in interested in increasing our physical activity. But do we really do all of this? Or do we think we do all of this? Well, a recent trend study from the American Dietetic Association suggests that 43% of Americans believe that they are already eating well. Well, maybe their definition of eating well and mine are a little bit different. And again, we're going to explore that as we go through this course. 38% know that they should, but they believe there are barriers to changing their behaviors. And I think this is a really big area. We know that we're supposed to eat better. We know that we're supposed to eat more fruits and vegetables. But what are your barriers? Is your barrier time? Is your barrier family obligations? Is your work a barrier? 19% aren't interested at all in changing their behaviors, and that's always an amazing statistic to me. It's almost like saying, I'm really not interested in being well. I'm really not interested in promoting my health. Or maybe those are individuals who really do have an unexplored barrier, some place where they haven't gotten uh, the, the correct answers. Well, the United States Department of Agriculture has showed us that Americans have increased their calories by 523 calories per day since 1970. So I want you to think about that for a second. If indeed we're increasing our calories, but we're believing that we're eating right, is there a disconnect there? I think there is. I think there is a disconnect. We believe we're eating well, 43% of us, but yet we're increasing our calories by about 523 calories per day. I want you to also think about this, that if indeed we are overeating by 500 calories or so per day, lo and behold, we're going to gain weight every single year. Every single year we are going to gain weight if we're eating more calories than we need to. So again, where do those 523 additional calories come from? Well, some of it was an increase in fruits and vegetables, but not much actually, because think about this. Do fruits and vegetables have a lot of calories? Well, the answer to that is no, they don't. So a good percentage, about 50%, are coming from added fats and sugars. Okay? Are we eating well? 43% of us believe that we are, but in reality, our additional calories are coming from fats and sugars. Well, why is that the case? Well, one of the other major facts since 1970s is portions are getting larger. They're getting significantly larger than they were in the 1970s. Remember back to the way your grandmother ate or the way your grandmother fixed food. You might have had fried foods at a meal. You might have had um, dessert at a meal. But the portions were controlled. So I think as we look at that additional 523 calories, what's actually happening is we're getting larger portions, and those larger portions have more fat and sugar than the original foods. There's also a disconnect what, between what we believe to be true and what we actually do. Well, this course is designed to do a few things for you. First, we're going to really work on clarifying the misconceptions around food. Should I go on a cleansing diet? What about the latest diet that I read about in, in a magazine? What about that product that claims I can lose weight without any work? I don't have to change my eating habits. I don't have to increase my exercise, but I'm going to lose weight. So we're going to clarify some of those misconceptions around nutrition, and we are going to replace it with science. We're going to replace it with science that you can understand, and most importantly, most importantly, implement in your everyday lives. So when you are bombarded with the next latest and greatest fad that's out there, when the next latest and greatest diet comes out there, you're going to look at this and say, but I know what the science says. I know the science can't justify the claim that's being made for that product, device, supplement, herb. So the science is going to rule this course. This introductory lecture...